Hello friends, welcome back. When seller need to verify an account, he or she must click on this link. So, we need to add this verify account method inside seller controller class. First, we have to check if this token is exists in our system. If this token not exists, redirect this user to seller registration page with invalid token error message. But when this token exists, set this seller account verified column to value 1. When this seller account is already verified, redirect this user to seller login page with info message. But when this seller account is not verified, set verified column to value 1 and redirect this user to seller login page with success message. Next, update seller login blade file. This seller login page will look similar to admin login page. Just copy whole code from admin login blade file. Then, paste them inside seller login blade file. And make some changes.
Let's add another if condition that will display info alert on this form. Remember, in previous videos, we created a component for these alerts. So, we need to replace these alerts with our alert component. And then, update this alert component by adding info alert session. Let's test. Initially, this seller account is not verified. Suppose this user want to verify seller account. As you can see, this user redirected to this seller login page with success message. By looking into database, we see that seller account is now verified. Suppose this user click on this verify account while account is already verified. As you can see, this user redirected to this seller login page with info message. Next video, we will add seller login and logout functionality to this Laravel 10 multi-vendor e-commerce project.